What's up, review crew? You know what day it is. It's Tuesday. What does that mean? It's Target Tuesday. Let's go inside and see what's new. But before we do a little bit of business, don't forget to hit that red subscribe down below if you haven't already. Like, comment, and ring that notification bell for all future videos. All right, let's go inside and see what's new. We're going into Target. We're going into Target. To see what they have because I have not been Blu-ray hunting for a week and I've had to hold back because I've been spending too much money so I'm excited to see what they have today all right here we are at the new TV and movies it's Stuber I actually saw this movie in the theater with my mom we were laughing our butts off I'm probably gonna get it so Blu-ray and digital, it's got the slip, so that's cool looking. Regular DVD, we also have Crawl. I saw this movie as well. It was better than I thought it was gonna be. Exclusive something, I don't know. But that's pretty cool too, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that. That might be a Black Friday purchase. They have The Haunting of Hill House. They also have The Art of Self-Defense, and I heard good things about this film, but I don't know if it's worth getting. That could be a Black Friday as well. Three from Hell. Rob Zombie film. Never heard of it. Maybe it's direct to DVD, I don't know. I still got Midsommar. I don't know if I'm gonna get that. That might be Black Friday too. Night Hunter, hmm. Henry Cavill, Ben Kingsley, good cast, Stanley Tucci, but never heard of it. Well, that's new. And Vikings is still here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, kind of empty up there, but we have all the other ones, Godzilla, Shaft, Rocket Man. Men in Black International. So over on the other side, there is a lot of kids' movies. Apparently no one's buying Toy Story 4 because there's a billion copies. Sleeping Beauty, 101 Dalmatians, Teen Titans, tons of Aladdin copies, tons of Secret Life of Pets too. So no one's getting those either. So if you want to get any Disney films or Pixar's, Target is the place to go because there's tons of options. So Target has brilliantly decided to rearrange all of their DVD section. And now I can't find anything. I don't know where anything is. They're all different prices. This is annoying to me. Struggles of the Blu-ray Hunter made my selections. There was not a lot to choose from, not a lot of sales going on, but I will show you when I get back to the car. All right, I am so disappointed in Target this week. First of all, I went in there. I was so excited because like I said, I have not been hunting at all for the entire week. I was trying to control myself because last week I made so many purchases. And I go in and first of all, I couldn't find anything because they were completely rearranging the video section and things where I knew where they were, weren't there anymore. And I think they removed an aisle. I don't know what's going on in there. And then second of all, I was just disappointed in like no sales. There was hardly anything on discount. I was like, this is lame Target. I'm disappointed in Target today. So I'm probably gonna go to Best Buy tomorrow because I need something. But I did make some purchases. So the first one that I got was Stuber. And you know what? Like I said earlier, my mom and I went and saw this in the theater. We were laughing hysterically at this. This is such a funny comedy. And Kumal Nanjiani and Dave Bautista have great on-screen chemistry together. It's a real shame that 
this did not make more money at the box office because it's a hilarious movie. So if you like to like belly laugh, go get Stuber, please get Stuber on Blu-ray. And I only got one other purchase and this is something that I've been putting off getting. I don't know why I've been wanting to get it for a while now. And because there wasn't anything else really that I wanted, I got Vice because I saw it in the theater last year. It is a good film. It's worthy of having in the Blu-ray collection and it's got Sam Rockwell. And I love Sam Rockwell, even though he's only in it for like 20 minutes and he got an Oscar nomination for it. Whatever. I'm fine with it. So I went, I got Vice and I got Stuber. No, I did not get Hereditary. I fooled you with my thumbnail. <laughs> But that's only because I'm the biggest chicken shit on the planet. I don't really like horror movies, so it's $5. If you like Hereditary on Blu-ray, it's $5 at Target. I don't know if that's the new permanent price or a sale. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's, it's too dark for me. It's too horror for me. So those are my only two pickups this week. I know it's not as exciting. I apologize. Blame Target. So if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the red subscribe down below. Like, comment, all the love from my subscribers. Guys, we are growing. We are at 465 subscribers on the review crew. We are almost at 500. The goal is 1,000. I would love to get there only with your help. Okay. So if you love Blu-ray hunting, movie reviews, trailer reactions, and award season coverage, why are you not subscribed to my channel? Click down below. Let me know what you got this week. Are you getting Stuber? Are you going to get Crawl? I didn't get that because that's probably going to be a Black Friday pickup for me. So let me know down below and I'll see you next Tuesday.